Well, good evening, girls and boys. <laughs> I tricked you. It's not evening. Well, it is evening where you are, but it's daytime for me. You know, I was thinking about Sunday evenings, and I just can't wait to get back to church in our Sunday evenings. One of my favorite things to do on a Sunday evening is to look around and I see all of you guys, and you're all holding your hymn books and you're all singing hymns. And you know what? That's so wonderful. There's a special Bible verse that talks about hymns. Let's read it in Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. Colossians 3, 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. You know, I love hymns now. When I'm feeling sad, I sing a hymn and I feel happy, I feel at peace because the words and the music, they glorify God and they just make my soul to sing. But you know what? I didn't always used to like hymns. In fact, I used to think, oh, hymns, they're so boring. And I used to listen to music which wasn't very good music at all. And it was very bad for me. But the Bible talks about singing hymns as praises to God. You know, sometimes we don't necessarily like what's good for us straight away. But hymns are such a blessing. I wanted to share with you one song that we sometimes sing on a Sunday night is called God Leads Us Along. Now, lots of us have sung that song, but I wonder, do any of you know about the person who wrote that song? Well, I only found out just recently. Let me read to you a story. There was a man and his name was George A. Young. And George A. Young, he loved God very, very much. And he had a wife and she loved God very, very much too. And they would serve God together, working in the churches. And one day, God called them and he said, I want you to come and serve in this little church over here. So they said, oh, well, okay. And they got up and they started serving in that little church. Now, Mr. George A. Young, he was a carpenter and he would build homes and he loved building things. He didn't have all that much money, but they kept on following God. And something that George Young would keep saying to his wife was, well, you know, dear, we don't always know where we're going, but I know that God's leading us along. Well, one day, they were at one small little church. At the town that they were in, didn't like the gospel very much. In fact, when they heard the Bible, George would preach and say, repent, turn from your sin. Jesus Christ is coming again and you need to trust him as your savior. They got angry. Can you show me your angry faces? They got, ha, huh, I don't like that preacher and I don't like that preacher's wife. Ha, huh, who are they to talk about a heaven and a hell? Who are they to say that we're sinners? They got very angry. Now George and his wife had just finished doing something very special. George had gotten his hammer, he pretended to hammer something, and he got his nails, and he had built a house for them to live in. Mrs. Young was so happy. I've got a house of my own, a home which my dear husband built, and they loved that little house because they had put so much time and work into it. And they praised God and said, Lord, thank you for giving us this beautiful house. Well, one day, George Young and his wife were out and some angry people who didn't like hearing the gospel came. And they had with them some fire and they went and they burned down George Young's house and when George Young and his wife came back, oh, our house is all burnt up. Oh no, all of our, our beautiful house and all the things that we have in it, our, our children's toys, and they were very sad. But then 
in the midst of all of that sadness, let me read to you what George Young started to think. He suddenly remembered that this world isn't my home. I'm not here to stay anyway. And he turned to his wife and he said, dear, we have a home in heaven. And, and God led us here and God leads us along. And he went and he started to write down these words. Though sorrows befall us and Satan oppose, God leads his dear children along. Some through the waters, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood, some through great sorrow. He paused and he said, dear, this is great sorrow that we're going through. But, but, but God keeps us on in the night season and all the day long. And so even though their whole house had been burnt down and the people didn't like hearing the gospel, George Young and his wife were able to praise God and have a song. Now, I think when I read that, when I read that, I thought, wow, I always loved that hymn, but that just makes it even more special. So maybe we can choose it next Sunday night, but let's sing it now. In shady green pastures so rich and so sweet, God leads his dear children along. Where the waters go flow, bathes the weary one's feet. God leads his dear children along. Some through the waters, some through the flood. Some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song. In the night season and all the day long. Though sorrows befall us and Satan oppose, God leads his dear children along. Through grace we can conquer, defeat all our foes, God leads his dear children along. Some through the waters, some through the blood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song in the night season and all the day long. And you know, when God is leading, no matter what we go through, we can always have a song. Let's bow for a word of prayer, shall we? Heavenly Father God, I thank you so much for the lessons which you can teach us in these beautiful hymns. We thank you, Lord God, for testimony of George Young and his wife and their ministry Lord God and how no matter what they went through you were leading them and you gave them a song pray for this week and for the rest of our lives Lord God that you will let us that we will let you lead Lord I pray that you will bring us back safely next week hopefully Lord God but whatever the outcome I pray that you will lead and that you will give us a song in your holy and precious name well, good night, everybody, and I'll see you next week.